Hey you guys, I'm Steven. I'm Giselle. And we're the Lover's Passport. And today we're going to be taking you guys through our 2021 gift guide for the holidays. Yeah, so this holiday gift guide is geared towards your adventure-loving friends, the people that love to get out into nature, the outdoors. So we've come up with quite an expansive list of potential gift ideas for your friends and family. We're going to go from stocking stuffers to like mid price, smaller price items, all the way up to big ticket items. So that way you guys have a lot of options when shopping. And we will just jump right into it. So first up, we're gonna get into stocking stuffers. So the first thing we have is a spork. They're literally $2 at REI or like $3. Can easily fit in the stocking. They're gonna use it. It's funny and it is actually like an effective present. <laughs> and plus, people lose them all the time. So, yeah. I especially like this one because of this feature. It can shrink down. Look at how small that is. That is tiny. Next up, we have the bug bite thing. So we actually don't have it on us right now, but basically if you or your friends are constantly hounded by mosquitoes, like I am, like I'm a mosquito magnet, this thing is awesome because the second you're bit, you can just stick it on the bite and it's like kind of like a suction cup thing and it helps relieve itching. I believe it's like $10 and super fun thing to have, especially if you are a mosquito prone, as well as a mosquito head net. We use the Cedar Summit ones, they're $11 at REI, and we haven't had to use these very often, but like I said, if you're mosquito prone and you're doing a lot of backpacking in the summer, then these are great things to have, and they're super tiny, so they make for a great socking stuffer. Next up are socks. Our favorite socks to wear while hiking are these. These are the Darn Tough Socks. They are super comfortable, they're merino wool. They have winter ones as well as summer ones, just depending on the thickness. I ski in these, hike in them, backpack in them, day hike, wear around the house. They are super comfortable, and I've had these for about a year. We've had a couple other pairs for two years, and I've never had a hole in them. Just about the rest of my socks all have holes in them this because I'm true. very hard on them. The model of the Darn Tough that we really like is the Hiker Micro Crew. There's a ton of different other models, but that one is our favorite. Next up, we have hand warmers. So if you're only a one-time use kind of person, then these ones are really great. They're super cheap at REI. They're the Tundra hand warmers and they are up to 11 hours of heat. So if you are shopping for someone who doesn't really live in like a cold area year round, like Southern California, for example, this could be a good option for a stocking stuffer. However, if you are shopping for someone who does go to a lot of cold places, the rechargeable ones are a lot more eco-friendly and just more useful. So we have these, we got these off of Amazon and these are the Koopa rechargeable hand warmers. They're about the size of your palm. You just rotate, you know, when you want some heat. And we're bringing these to our trip to Canada with us and we're gonna test them out a little bit more, but so far so so good and they make for a great stocking stuff. Next up is going to be rock tape. If you guys ever get blisters out there on the trail, I can never have too much rock tape. It makes for a great stocking stuffer because you know that people are gonna use it. Next is beanies. So we have a variety that we love. We particularly love the ones that Steven's wearing from Carhartt, they're super cheap and very quality and they're very cute. I'm wearing one from Columbia. They have it on their gift guide as well. Super cute little palm color, comes in a variety of color options, but it's really warm and really nice. We also love the ones from CC and LL Bean. I think it's actually called the LL Beanie. And then the Katadin Palm Knit Beanies are also some of our top favorite ones. Next up is Kuju Coffee. This is our favorite coffee. We bring it on literally every single trip and we love it so much because look at how small this is that is it all you do is you open it up you put it inside your cup and you drink it a lot of people don't know about this so great stocking stocking stuffer you can show them something new and they're really nice and easy to pick up from rei they also have a variety of flavors so this is the base camp blend it's their medium blend it's the most popular roast and it's our favorite roast but they do have two other ones that are like a light blend a medium and a dark roast and then they also have three specialty flavors We've been drinking it for like years, so that's why we know all the stuff. But they also do have a gift set available, which we ran out of because we actually did give them away. They come with Stroop waffles, so it's a coffee and waffle set, and it's super cute. And the Stroop waffles are delicious. So those are the sets too. They come, I think, with like one of each flavor, 
And then the Stroop waffles, and they are fantastic. And your outdoorsy friends will thank you when they are tired from watching the sunrise and want some coffee and snacks. Next up is the Hiker Med Kit from My Medic. We also have one that is for your car. So they make a bunch of different models. This one is super light. It's meant for two people. You can bring it on the trail. The car one is hefty it's huge so just depending on what kind of uses you have they have them specially made specific for each activity shows that you're concerned with your friends or family's safety <laughs> and it's just really important to have like a lot of our friends do not have medical kits when they're hiking and you should always be prepared scout motto so that is it for stocking stuffers now we're going to move over toward the the bigger gift category um, and we're gonna start working our way down from like least expensive to most expensive starting now. First up, we have these Yeti Ramblers, tumblers, whatever you wanna call them. They are fantastic, <laughs> especially if you're getting your friend. They're great for tea, they're great for coffee, so we use them basically every day. You can tell ours are a ours little are bit used. beat up. <laughs> And we love how easy they are to wash. The top is a magnet. You can take it off if you want to throw it in like the dishwasher ever or if you want to make sure that you can scrub everything out. But super convenient. They're a great size. They fit in all of our car holders, which is kind of hard to find sometimes. Next up is going to be a black diamond headlamp. If you're shopping for an outdoorsy lover and they don't already have a headlamp, this is a fantastic, useful gift. Uh, that they're gonna use quite often. It's perfect for sunrise hikes, sunset hikes, which is honestly when we recommend hiking to avoid heat exhaustion and because it's just like beautiful golden light if you're a photographer. So we like the black diamond ones. They last in terms of battery the longest. They're super durable. Um, they have a lot of variety of functions. They do have a red light feature for when you have an area with bugs and and you don't want to disturb other people with the bright light. So that's why we like them. We've had black diamond headlamps for years and they make a great present that will be used quite often. Yes, they have two different models. Make sure you check out the one with the rechargeable battery. It is a little bit more pricey, but totally worth it in the long run. Next up is packing cubes. These things crunch down super small and they're fantastic for keeping everything organized if you guys are traveling. So especially if you have friends that love to travel or even the friends that are super messy, give them these, they can organize all their socks, all their clothes, and it makes it so you can pack more into your suitcase or even pack more into your backpack when traveling. And then speaking of packing cubes, we actually have a camera specific one. So this one is for your photographer friends, people that have a lot of expensive equipment that they wanna lug around, especially in the outdoors, it can be hard to find a good backpack for that. So the solution is finding a good camera cube. This one is from Tropic Feel and it has a ton of storage for cameras and battery packs and a drone and anything you can honestly want to put in a backpack that doesn't already have compartments. This is a nice padded reinforced bag so that way your friend or your family member who loves photography is not going to be sad when they accidentally scratch up their camera from not having any like storage space for it in their backpack. Yeah it has SD it has spots for SD cards, it has spots for your ND filters or polarizers, and I can fit about one camera, a lens, and all the additional microfibers or whatever thing else, or you can fit a drone with the remote and the an extra few batteries in there. So pretty good size, it's great, like Giselle was saying, for if you're traveling and you don't want your camera getting beat up around it. Next up, for your friends that love to relax, we have some hammocks from Eno Hammocks. One is a single person hammock that is super lightweight. It's called the Tech Nest and it comes with these pockets and super handy, especially if your friend likes to backpack. It's way more lightweight than a lot of the other hammocks that we have encountered. The other one is a double nest hammock and this is a two person hammock, which is perfect if like for couples, for example, great couples gift. And then you just, you also do have to buy a strap system for the hammock. So we would recommend the Atlas straps. They're good for up to 200 pounds per strap. They're super compact, so they don't take a lot of space up in your bag. And they, the setup is just super easy. Next up is these Cthulhu micro spikes. They're fantastic, especially if you guys are hiking in the snow. They are much, much lighter than crampons. They can go on any shoe and they just give you a little extra resistance. Great on ice, great if it gets a little slippery, let's say on snow. Not great for deep snow because it does start to compact and that's where you'd want snowshoes or backcountry skis. They're super lightweight, awesome for backpacking trips in the high Sierra or high elevation, and we're gonna bring them to Canada with us while we're adventuring there. So great for all of your adventure lovers, especially if they live near snow. 
Now this one is my personal favorite gift idea because it is probably the most useful like experience driven gift and it's the National Parks Pass. It is about $80 and it will get you into any USA National Park or monument for for free, or I guess it's not for free really because you're paying for it, but like- It'll you get, get them in for free. Yeah, <laughs> you get your money's worth out of this thing. So we've had a National Parks Pass for the past three years now, and we always make sure to buy one every year. The first time actually we got one, we won it in the giveaway, and that was just like game changing because then if you hit three national parks, it pays for itself. Give your friends or family the experiences of the national parks. It's a fantastic gift. It's very thoughtful and helps them create memories. Next up, we have our favorite camping chairs. They're the click chairs. We've been using these for the past two years. This has had so much wear and tear on it and it's still in really great shape for reference for the size. I'll take the, the Yeti. Like it's slightly bigger than a Yeti and it collapses down really nicely. And they're just a comfy chair, but they're really great for people that are doing a lot of car camping that need some extra storage in their car. They're really nice and compact. If let's say you're going to a basketball game or a football game and you don't want to have to sit on the hard bleachers, these are really comfy. If you're going on a beach date, we always just throw these in our backpack. And like Giselle was saying, they're really nice. Instead of taking up big areas like a huge beach chair or heavier chairs in the back when you're going camping, you can just toss these in and they take up absolutely no space. Next up is the Rumple Puffy. This is one of our favorite camp blankets. On colder trips, people always ask us how we sleep in the back of our car when it's like freezing outside. And this is our answer. We always bring a sleeping bag, but this is great to have on top of you to get a little extra warmth, as well as it's really nice and compact. So you can throw it in a backpack, throw it in a duffel bag, bring it just in case. And if you do get a little cold, it's really nice to throw over. It is ripstop on both sides, so you do not have to worry about it getting dirty. Or if snagged. we go to the beach or we go out and sit on the dirt, all we do is shake it out and all of it falls directly off. So highly recommend getting this for your friends if they love picnics. Picnics. <laughs> no? <laughs> so random. <laughs> I think like lay down on the floor, sit like a picnic. Yes, picnics, but also they like being warm. <laughs> I think blankets are a great gift for anyone, honestly, especially us ladies that get a little colder out in the outdoors. Like I will bring that thing everywhere. Next up is a jet boil cooking system. So for your friends and family that love to do some backpacking and hiking, this is an awesome gift. Steven actually got it as a gift last Christmas. And so we put quite a bit of wear and tear on his in the past year. It's great because you can cook up coffee at the top of a mountain. You can make meals anywhere. You can, I mean, if you're doing backcountry back, backpacking, you're gonna wanna have a jet boil stove. This one you are not gonna wanna cook any food in, but it is great for boiling water. If you do wanna cook food inside your jet boil, we recommend this one. This is the Jet Boil Minimo, and I actually just got this last month for our trip to Catalina. If you guys missed that, I'm gonna link it up here. But it is super awesome because, yeah, like Steven said, you can cook and boil water. It's a little bit fatter in terms of the size. And so, yeah, you can like fit more. It's kind of more like a pot than like anything or more like a pan. And so we've cooked pasta, beans, like the sorts in here and it, it worked really nicely. And the nice thing about both of these is they have the little button where it has the auto ignite. So you don't need like a match or a flame. But the other thing I would mention about the Minimo is that you can also put a skillet on it. The Jetboil Flash does not have the same options. All you have is a simple rotate on of the taller cup, but the Jetboil Minimo has quite a few other options. It is more meant for cooking on and a little bit more versatile. I've used the MSR Pocket Rocket, which is a direct competitor with these, and I personally like the Jetboil more just because it's a all-inclusive. The MSR Pocket Rocket is great if you're going ultra lightweight and you want to sacrifice some of the comfort, but if you guys know any friends that love a little bit more comfort, love their coffee, love their highly, cooking. <laughs> highly recommend giving them a Jetboil. Next up, we have these slippers. So all of these slippers are from this company called Olakai. We've talked about them before and we are in love with them. They have two different types of them. They really believe in a pair for at home and a pair to roam. Yeah, so these ones are my roaming ones. These ones are really comfy. All of these are $130, but they are super quality. If you can take a look at the soles on these, so 
These are the outdoorsy ones. They're super thick and really comfortable. So like, let's say I don't want to take my slippers off to go grocery shopping or something. These are a very good option to do like errands and stuff and still keep your feet cozy without looking like you just rolled out of bed. And then these ones are the ones for at home. As you can tell, they have a different brim. The inside of mine is much more cozy. So I'm even thinking about getting a pair of these for my family. They're super, super warm, especially for those winter days or fall days when you're inside and it's you wanna stay cozy. Those are amazing to stay nice and cozy and I like the company and everything that they stand for. So make sure you guys check out Olakai. Now if you're balling on a budget and slippers are still a fantastic idea because they're great for you know camp, they're great for just like chilling at home. They're just a great gift, not even just for outdoorsy lovers, but for like everyone. We'll also link our favorite Amazon ones below. You've probably seen them. They're really cozy. I, I bought like everyone a pair last year for Christmas. So and we'll link both the nice quality options and the budget options for you. Next up, we're gonna have a puffy jacket. And so you can see I'm wearing one right now. This is the Columbia Omni Heat, but we also do recommend there's some really, really good ones from L.L. Bean. I forget exactly. I think it's the Ultralight 850. It's a water resistant, hooded, very cute jacket. You might've seen me wearing it in our New Hampshire video as well as maybe the Hawaii video, but that's personally my favorite puffer right now. This one is great though, cause it's a lot warmer. The Omni heat technology is really cool. So this is the one I'm choosing to bring to Canada with me. I do have a Patagonia macro puff and nano puff as well. So the difference between those is the nano puff is gonna be cheaper and it's often on sale at REI, so keep your eyes out. Depending on your friend's like climate slash where they like to adventure, Nano Puff is gonna be for those adventures that are a little bit warmer. Macro Puff is gonna be for the colder ones. Same thing with the Omni Heat, definitely more for cold weather than anything. And then the L.L. Bean one, I'd say is pretty versatile in terms of like all weather types. Next up, we're getting into the big bucks. We're getting into like, if you are willing to spend the money for the most important people in your life, here's where you should spend it kind of bucks. But we figured we'd include it just in case y'all are some generous gift givers. <laughs> so the first one is a solo stove bonfire pit. They're really cool. You can have campfires at home. You can have campfires in the outdoors without having a specific fire pit. And it's smokeless. Like the technology has like a vent where you know, it keeps the campfire nice and cozy without getting smoke right in your face. I love it just because of the convenience of it. It has a carrying case you can bring it in. It's stainless steel, so it looks really good in the backyard. As well as, let's say you're in Joshua Tree or you're in Yosemite. Sometimes the ground can be wet. Sometimes you have to find a place to stack rocks. All you have to do is pull it out, set it down, and you're ready to rock and roll. So. Highly recommend checking this out. Now this is a great, this next one's both great options for your friends and family that do a lot of off the grid adventures. And it's because they are safety devices. One is a Garmin inReach Mini and the other is a Spot Unit fourth generation. So we have both, one for each of us. And luckily we haven't had to actually use them in an emergency situation, but especially like if you're a parent shopping for your kid that loves to do a lot of outdoor adventures and you wanna make sure they're safe. The nice thing about these is they have these emergency SOS features on the side here. And then the spot unit, you pull it out right here and then you push the button and it will dispatch people with their GPS coordinates and that way you can get help if you are like stranded, if you had an injury in the mountains, something like that. These are just great for like peace of mind. You can also pre-program these to have like custom messages so you can send your friends and family texts saying like, hey, I'm okay. And we'll also send your GPS coordinates with that as well. And this also does have like a mileage tracker on it. I think that's the, the biggest difference between this and the spot unit is the spot unit doesn't really have a display screen or at least the models we have, whereas the Garmin Enrich Mini, you can like track your mileage and input like uh, navigation data on it. So that would, I would say is the biggest thing. This one is meant mostly for checking in, sending it, and you don't get any of your own data. There's no screen on it. This is the bare minimum. And if you're doing something on a budget, this is a great way to have a little bit of safety without having all the expense. The Garmin Enrich is much, like Giselle was saying, it can track everything for you. So you can see how far you've come, it tracks everything so you can 
look at as well as it also has the option to send to people. So like we said, just depends on your budget. The last thing to know is that the Garmin InReach Mini does also receive messages. So a spot, you can only send them. If you're looking at which one to buy, just consider those things. Also look at the tech specs. We'll link them both down in the description box below, but they're both great options for keeping your loved ones safe in the outdoors. Next up, we have some of our favorite rinse kit products. So this one is gonna be a lot cheaper than the actual rinse kit. And that's because it's a water bottle, but it's also a sprayer. So we just use this on our trip to Catalina and it was like a lifesaver because it was so hot. And so it was nice because we could carry water. We could still drink out of this but it also has this like pump. So you just pump it a few times and then they have two different settings here where you have like a more direct spray and then kind of like a mist and you can choose which one you want. And it comes out of the sides of the bottle here. Really, really nice. This is a great gift. I know a lot of outdoors lovers loves getting water bottles anyways. So it's insulated, it keeps it nice and cold and it also works as a sprayer. Then of course we do have our Rinse Kit Pro. We also have the normal one. The Pro is a little bit nicer. So if you have more of a budget, we'd go with the Pro. If you don't have as much of a budget, we'd go with the normal one. I actually, that's how I got introduced to Rinse Kit. My dad got me this Rinse Kit, the normal version for Christmas two years ago, and we've been using it ever since. So definitely recommend if you have someone who likes to take showers and wants to go road tripping, but doesn't want to get a membership, like a gym membership to like shower at places. This is how we shower. We set up a nice little Walmart tarp underneath it. And we just use the nozzle to rinse off as well as setting up like a little towel across the back of the car with some car magnets. And then you just have your own little private shower. Next up is the Luno Life mattress. This thing is awesome. They have a ton of options for Subarus and this is the new one that just came out. This one is for the Forerunner, which you know we're team Forerunner over here. We love this one just because it fits perfectly. We have built out the back of our Forerunner, so we have a wood platform in it, so we can fit a full-size mattress in there. But if you guys aren't looking to necessarily build a platform in it, and you just wanna be able to get to camp, throw in the, your mattress and blow it up, this is a great item. It's really comfortable, it's lightweight. As you can see, it's pretty thin. It doesn't take up too much room if you're road tripping. So highly would recommend getting this for anyone if they're planning on doing a cross country road trip, if they are always complaining that maybe they don't sleep great in their tent, this could be a great option if they have a, or they wanna try out car camping. We tested a lot of air mattresses, you guys. If you've watched our other like car camping videos, it took us a long time to figure out one we liked. So this is our favorite air mattress option, or you could buy your loved one a memory foam topper. That's what we've used as well, and both are fantastic options. Yeah. Last but not least, we got this bad boy. This is a Jackery Power Station. This one is if you have a huge holiday budget, the Jackery Portable Power Station. We have the Jackery 1000 with the solar panels that came along with it. There are cheaper options there are smaller units there's also bigger units they launched i believe the 1500 this year but this thing is awesome if your loved one loves road tripping car camping overlanding anything that's kind of like an off-grid adventure this is awesome even if they're digital nomad too like if you are buying for someone who works on the road this is awesome it we charge all of our camera gear on it we charge all of our like Phones, literally everything air mattresses <laughs> air compressor for our tires i've used it for work if i don't want to use an extension cord if i have to do some yard work and i don't want to run anything just plug it into this this is probably the coolest thing we've ever gotten i'm not gonna lie i bring it everywhere to work to the uh to camping trips backpacking trips you get back throw it in there plug Hi your fridge into it highly That's recommend nice. you might even uh do a little splurge for yourself. It is probably the coolest piece of gear that we have. So highly recommend checking it out. So these are all gifts that are kind of like for uses. The last thing, if you really want to be personal, I got my grandpa one of these last year and he absolutely loved it, are a print. Back here, we have all of our favorite prints. We get everything from Printique by Autorama. They are amazing prints. If you guys take iPhone pictures, if you want a book, a calendar, we like the metal the metal prints and Giselle actually got me one of those for a present a few years ago and I, found I, them twice, I absolutely love them so if you guys are looking to get anything printed that is hands down the best print job we've ever got out of all the other ones that we've used so highly recommend checking that out if you want something a little bit more personal 
Honestly, we could go on for days with the gift ideas. So if you guys still need more gift ideas, feel free to comment below um, if you're shopping for a picky picky person or if you just want us to ramble more about outdoorsy things we love. We will be happy to help you shop for your um, adventure lovers this holiday season. And that is it for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps our channel out a lot and we'd love to have you join the adventure family. All right, we'll see you guys out there on the next adventure. Thank you.